<laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. Oh, I gotta get this off the screen. So we're gonna be playing some more Sega CD. Sega CD. This story is set back in time, about 500 years. Yeah, it is. In this period, isn't it? Japan was divided into a large number of districts, where each warlord. All right, who can guess the name of the game? To expand his reign. Let's see who can get it. If anyone. Everywhere. Before the title screen comes up. Onin's battle in 1467 triggered a ruleless world where the hierarchy of power meant nothing. Anarchy was the only thing which could be found. Do I think it was the game and the system? I am not sure. The arrival of a foreign ship cast ashore by a storm on the distant southern Nobody's island, gotten it yet. Influenced the war greatly. Come on, you guys think you know Sega CD so well? Come on. Somebody's got to get it. Armored soldier. The technology given by foreigners along with firearms enabled Japanese craftsmen to build an 8 meter tall humanoid robot. Powered by a steam engine. <laughs> Mario Paint. This machine was so powerful... It's not Hagane. This is Sega CD. 300 Cavaliers. Mm-mm. The airship was another invention brought by Westerners. It was no wonder that the highly sophisticated... Grand Theft Auto. I like the no nobody's gotten this yet. No time. Give you guys a hint. It's a shooter for Sega CD. Countries which could not keep up with the rapid change lost their power and were absorbed in the powerful stream. See, people tell me to play Sega CD all the time, and then I put on a Sega CD game, and then nobody in the chat knows. See? Well, Brutal, that's for, um... Ah, Nero! Nero got it. Uh, uh, brutal but clean. That's for um, Se Sega Saturn. His power rapidly I don't think it's on this. Because of his demonic talents. Yes. This is Robo Eleste. Thanks, D Rock, for subbing. Twelve months. All right. Now, by the way, I wasn't trying to act like I know everything about Sega CD. I grew up with NES. I was just saying that I'm surprised that the chat didn't know because I, 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 all, all the time my chat's like, Sega CD, Sega CD, do more Sega CD. So I figured I put this on and people would have been like knowing what it is, you know? Anyhow, so all I really know about this game is that it's a shooter and we're going to try it out. You said it three times? Well, I saw you say it... Um, did you say it earlier? I missed it if you said it earlier before that. Let me look back. Oh, you did, actually. You know what? I missed your comment. Sorry. All right. Let's try this out. Show me what you can do. Show me your moves. So yeah, I haven't played this one before. So we'll see what it's like. Yeah. See, do I have bombs? I must. I must. Wait, do you actually not? I guess. I guess you. There's no bombs, huh? Really? Maybe I have to collect them as I go. I don't know. Oh, that would have been a weapon right there. I think I just got an extra life or something. Like I said, I haven't played this. So I don't know this game too well. Too well at all. Bitch. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Uh, I'm in trouble getting to the items. Can 
Come on, bring another one out. Bring an item out. Oh, there, there, there. Give me it, give me, give me, give me, give me. Ah, ha, ha, fucker. All right. Already it seems like it has more of a weapon selection than Ghost Pilots did. Now, I'm not knocking on Ghost Pilots. I, I really like that game. It, I guess Ghost Pilots is just more basic, you know? But really fun. That was like a World War II kind of, you know. You're not going to see like laser beams and shit in that, really. But I, I like all those kind of, when you get all those kind of weapons and shit. You know what I love in R-Type? When uh, is it only Super R-Type? When you get that one weapon that's like the red and blue like laser, like sort of that sort of spirals together. I love that fucking weapon. I love that game. God damn. Is that weapon actually in the arcade version of it? By the way, I feel like I don't remember it being in that for some reason. Ooh, check this out. This is kind of like a. Heat seeker shield thing. This is real fun so far. I'm, I'm digging this. I played a uh, Sega CD game uh, shooter the other day. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Uh, you know what it was? It was Soul Feast. And I think I remember thinking like it was it was okay. But I think I feel like I might like this better. I'm gonna try that again though. I forget if I streamed that or not. I might have just been playing on my own. But yeah, I, I, I remember liking that. I'm really surprised you don't get like bombs though in this, unless I'm just not seeing it. Remember how awesome the, um, oh fuck, game over. No! Like just flat out game over? Oh my god, this game doesn't fuck around, huh? Thank you, favorite customer. Alright, let's see if there's settings. Hold up. Uh, but yes, thank you. Thanks for all the cool emojis. They call them emotes on Twitch. Let's see, level. Alright, let's drop it down a little bit because I didn't get far at all. Tengen, Tengen. Am I shooting with the A button? C or B will make you shoot faster. I was shooting with B. Does it actually go A, B, C, and C would be the fastest? Let's, uh, let's see. All right, well, I'll try to use C. We'll see if there's a difference between B and C. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, actually, it appears that C doesn't work. So I'm gonna just use B. You would think the C button would be bomb. Nero, so since you're somebody in here that's played this, is there bombs? Like, is there bombs at all? Or is it all just shooting? Which I'm, I don't have a problem with that, just you know, asking. No, just special weapons. Okay. Meaning like the things I've been getting, like the yellow and blue or whatever. That's interesting. I decide which one I like the best. There we go. Yes, okay, don't forget to pick up the capsules. Capsules? Ooh, I don't like that. Shit. Wait, what? Shit. I think I know what you're talking Those? Uh, those things right there that I just saw? All right, is that what you're talking about? The capsules? What do the capsules do? But, oh, those things, right? I don't know where they're coming from, but... Uh, one second, because I want to read the chat. Uh, hey Mike, how's it going? This is from Marmike. 
What are your thoughts on the Sega officially releasing the mini Sega Genesis later this year? Um, I think uh, Aaron and I already talked about that, but so there's the Mega SG, which is like a Super NT, but for Sega Genesis, where you can put cartridges into it and all that. And then I guess later this year, there's going to be the mini Sega Genesis. I mean, I think that's fine. It's like all the rest of them, you know, the NES Classic and whatever, all, all these different ones, Super Nintendo Classic, Sega Genesis Mini, now they're doing. Um, my only thought on any of those is that I think they're great, but, like, for people that, like, want that, and, and also for people that don't mind playing retro games on a flat-screen monitor, um, I found that there's a lot of people that don't, care about if it's on a flat screen monitor or whatever I don't like it me personally I like to play retro games either on like a CRT or a PVM or something like that um, I play mostly on the PVM but uh, honestly like the more I've been thinking about it like lately I feel like honestly just a regular CRT television is really it's really enough because like and it's the, really the most authentic experience you can get because that's how it was. You know, if you were playing in the 90s, you were just playing on a CRT TV. If you want the most really authentic experience, just get yourself a regular old cheap ass CRT television and get the authentic experience that way, you know? And just hook your fucking console up the way you would have in, you know, 1995 or whatever. It's like you can't really beat it. Um, but I will say, having uh, like something like a PVM or BVM and then hooking up with Stuttgart and all that looks really awesome too. I like that. And also, there's another monitor that I really like. I showed it in the console video that I did. It's like the Commodore 64 monitor. I love that monitor. So like all monitors, like any of those kind of monitors, um, that's what I like to play on because that makes me feel like I'm playing the games um, the way they were really mostly intended to be played. And, um, you know, something I'd like to know, um, I don't know if when they were designing, um, I don't know if that when they were designing the games, if, um, like what monitors the designers were using, like the per person who did Robo Alest, were they using like a PVM or something? This is just me being ig ignorant and not knowing, and I should know. Um, or did they have some other kind of special monitor when they were making these games back then? Like, let's say it was 1990 or whatever, and they're designing Super Mario World or whatever. Nintendo is sitting there, and they're looking at the games. I'm, I'm assuming they're not, you know, using just a regular old crappy CRT. They probably had special televisions and stuff like that, right? To, to do it with? I don't really know. I'd like to know. I'd like to have one of those. Whatever the, whatever Nintendo used to make Super Mario World, what was the monitor? That's what I'd like to use. You know, that'd be cool. Uh, so, Bin Led says, programmers use PVMs. Okay, there you go. So, and another person says, no, they just use regular old TVs. Well, maybe it, maybe it depended. Um, so, anyway, uh, so I think that that's cool. But uh, as far as the Sega Genesis Mini uh, in particular, I don't know what the game list on it or anything. Um, it's probably not something I would really use because it's like it's emulation, and I don't prefer that. I prefer, I, I mean, I prefer having the cartridges flat, like flat out. And I know a lot of people uh, will play on like a Raspberry Pi or um, something. Uh, see, if if you're not gonna get the actual cartridges and systems, I would, uh, I personally recommend getting an EverDrive because that's like, you, it's basically almost the same thing as if you had the cartridge and you're putting it in the system. Um, I would recommend EverDrives over those like clone console things personally. Um, so like if you're going to play like NES and you don't want to collect all the games and understandable by the way I have you know my whole basement is fucking filled with like original games and stuff and I think you really got to be really 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 committed to do that um so I can totally understand just getting an EverDrive or something I like I don't have anything against it um it's just that I've always been a collector and I like having 
the physical games. That's all. I like I like having the um, did I have one sitting around? I just I like having the box and the manual and the cartridge and whatever. And it's just you know, it's just what I personally like. But I don't have anything against anybody that uses um, one of the mini consoles or one of the ever drives or something. It's just my my suggestion is if you're gonna you know choose between like a um, like a mini console or like an EverDrive, I'd say go for the EverDrive, personally. So, I mean, that's my thoughts on it, basically. But like, um, I don't really, I don't know if I really have anything more to say to say about the Sega Genesis Mini, other than like, for the people that uh, are gonna get that, um, I hope that the game selection is good. And I know you can like jailbreak them, and people put all the other games on them and all that. But in terms of them just selling it and people that aren't going to do that, I hope that the game selection is good. I, I mean, that's that's all I can say. I don't really know. I don't have a lot to say about it. Uh, thank you, uh, Bree One Fly, Bree Wondle Fly, for the sub. Do I have all the North American NES titles? Um, well, here's the thing. So a large amount of the and NES games that are in the nerd collection at James's place, those I bought. So um, a lot of them I bought, honestly. Um, and a lot of them came from my personal collection at the time because we were making the show, you know? So I wanted a lot of my cartridges just be in there so we could automatically, you know, because it's a character, you know? And it, it, we're trying to give the appearance of this crazy gamer who has all these games and stuff. So I, I put a lot of my games um, in that collection. So um, I don't think of that as really my collection or James' collection, really. That's kind of like the nerd's collection. So if like I need to, if I need a game, like I might just borrow it from like, it's almost like a library system because it's kind of like, um, so a lot of my games basically ended up there. So in a way, I have them all because like I kind of just take them out from here, but I don't have them here. As far as the games that I have here, I probably have like, I don't know, 300 or something games here. I, I haven't counted. But um, as far as NES, uh, for example, um, I didn't have a copy of Kickmaster. So last time I asked James, I'm like, can I get uh, Kickmaster so I can stream it? And then when he comes over, he'll take it, he'll put it back into the nerd collection, you know? So, it's that's how we work it, kind of. It's for the, basically, the NES collection is for the show, you know? Sorry, I'm just reading a few more comments and I'll get back to this game, which is very cool so far. I know the gaming press had a special video capturing equipment provided by Nintendo for Game Boy and Game Boy Color that's not available to the general public. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I feel like the SNES Classic game selection was solid. It wasn't bad. Uh, I just wish they would have paid a little bit more licensing out to get a couple more like licensed games that really needed to be on there. And I get why they wouldn't do that, but like a couple of the games on there were like, really? And, and also the NES one. Like, didn't they have, like, golf or something? Like, Mario Golf or some shit on there? It's like, really? Like, that's better than, like, fucking Batman or something? Like, couldn't they have paid a little bit to get fucking Batman on there? Or, like, wasn't Metal Storm not on there? Like, Metal Storm's fucking better than, like, Mario Golf or whatever. That was on there, right? Wasn't there? Hold, hold up a second. I want to see... Um, let, let's see the list of NES Classic games. Let's go, let's go back in time. And by the way, again, I know you can, like, hack the system, but let's just go back to the list of games. I'm sure I can get that. Just give me a second. Let's see. Okay, NES Classic Edition, full game list. Uh, okay, Balloon Fight. I like Balloon Fight. I, I'm, I don't have a problem with that being on there. Bubble Bobble. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Castlevania, definitely. Simon's Quest, definitely. So wait, so there you go, by the way. Konami. 
So maybe they had the rights or whatever at the time. By the way, fucking Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest is on the SNES classic list. No. It shouldn't be on there. It's great. It's a important part of gaming history. Uh, there's a lot of things I like about that game, but as far as the NES classic list, no. Um, Donkey Kong. Okay, I. You, you know what? Honestly, this might be controversial, but I don't think Donkey Kong should be on the NES classic list, only because it's like it, the, Donkey Kong was classic in the arcade. I think that it should be. I love that they put that on the Nintendo Switch, like the real arcade. So, I mean, I think there's better games they could have chosen than Donkey Kong on the on the NES Classic. Um, Donkey Kong Jr., really? Out of, like, 30 games you're going to choose, Donkey Kong Jr.? I like Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Obviously, they're great games. And I think the port, actually, of Donkey Kong on the NES class, uh, on the NES is a good... I think it's a good port of the game, but, like... I don't think either one of those should be on there. Um, Double Dragon 2 The Revenge. Yes, I agree with that. That should be on there. Dr. Mario. Yes. Excite Bike. Uh, sure. Why not? Final Fantasy. Sure. Galaga. Uh, I like the NES version of Galaga a lot. Maybe Ghosts and Goblins. So... The NES version is better than the arcade version. It is a classic NES game. Um, see, so I, so I don't mind it being on there because like, I actually like Ghosts and Goblins, but probably it shouldn't be on there, especially for people that are... Like, if there's a kid now and you're introducing a kid... You, like, you, like, imagine there's, a, there's like an 8-year-old kid right now in 20... You know, 2018, 2019, and you're like a dad or something, and you get for Christmas, hey, here's the NES Classic, check out these old games I grew up with, or something like that. Kid puts on Ghosts and Goblins, I don't think that's the best way to introduce a kid to the NES. So I'm going to say that that's probably not the best decision for that to be on there, even though I love Ghosts and Goblins. I don't think that was the best decision. Gradius? Okay. Um, Ice Climber? I mean that's a classic, but like, real like, there's there's a, like a large list of NES games that are like better choices than these. Uh, Kid Icarus, classic, but like, you know how fucking hard Kid Icarus is. I guess, I guess it should be on there. Kirby, see Kirby, Kirby is a pretty Kirby is a good choice. Regular Mario Brothers, I like regular Mario Brothers, but. I don't, I think there's better choices again. Mega Man 2, yes. Metroid, yes. Ninja Gaiden, yes. Pac-Man, the NES version of Pac-Man, really, out of like 30 games that's gonna be on there? The, the NES version of Pac-Man? No. I like it, I like it, but on the, on the NES, no, I wouldn't have had that. Punch-Out, yes. Star Tropics, uh, Star Tropics is really tough, but I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'd put it on there, but, like, it's not, it's, I, I'm on the fence about whether that, or that should have been on there, but it's not, one, it's not the worst decision. I, I think that's, that's okay. I'm okay with that. Super Contra, yes. Super Mario Brothers, obviously, yes. Mario 2, yes. Mario 3, yes. Tech Mobile, I'm not into sports games, so I think there should be a sports game on there. Um, if I don't know if Tech Mobile is like a really good game or not. I know, I know that people really liked. Um, was it ice hockey? Uh, was that the hockey one that everybody likes? Um, or is there no Blades of Steel? Wait, isn't it Blades of Steel? Tech Mobile still holds up. Okay, Tech Super Tech Mobile is better. Super Tech Mobile. Okay, so there's some debate about that. Um, Punch Out is sad on the NES Classic. That's true. That's actually that's actually a good point. You can't pl you can't play Mike Tyson's Punch Out on a fucking LCD. I'm so I'm sorry. 
go back to when I said Mike Tyson's punch out should be on there. That can't be on there. You can't play that on on an L. You have to play that on a CRT monitor. Get that the fuck off of there. Actually, thank you for saying that. Who said that? You're totally right. Um, I'm looking for the comment. Fuck, it might be off the screen now. Whoever it was that said that, I agree with you. Uh, Ultra Bomber, thank you very much for subbing Tier 2. Well, that's one of the rare Tier 2 um, uh, subs, and I appreciate that. Um, you actually prefer Ice Hockey over Blades of Steel? See, I've heard more that people like Blades of Steel, but I don't really know. Uh, so I'm not, you know, super into sports stuff. I'm not into sports things at all, actually. Modern HDMI is okay for lag. It's gotten better, I will say. It has gotten better, um, but it's still not, like I wouldn't play, I still wouldn't play Punch Out on it. And um, what was the other thing I was gonna say about it? And just the look of it, like I don't like the look of it. It looked like, it just doesn't, to me, it doesn't look good on like a flat screen. It just doesn't look good. But, you know, other people feel differently, and that's fine. So Legend of Zelda, yes. Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link, absolutely. Um, and I think that's the whole list. So that's my opinion on, the, on that. So, of those games that I said no, uh, which might have been like, I don't know, what, 10 games? Let's go through the list now again and see how many that I chose that were no. Um, you know what? Honestly, this would be a good thing to do a video on. So, how many did I say no to? Uh, Simon, Simon's Quest, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., um, Ghosts and Goblins. I was like on the fence. Didn't I say no ultimately? Ghosts and Goblins. Uh,. Kid, Kid, Ica, Kid Icarus, I'm kind of, like, it's a classic, but I don't know that I'd put it on there. It's too ridiculous of a game. I'm going to say no to that. Five. Mario. Regular Mario. Six. Um, Pac-Man. Seven. Punch-Out. Eight. That was it, I think. Unless I missed any games. So, eight. Eight, I said, uh, shouldn't be on there. So there's definitely eight better games for for the NES that I can pick. Let's let's let me think of eight other games. So, and again, this is I think if they were gonna do the NES Classic, they should have licensed out some stuff. So I'm gonna throw out some. So I think Batman. Uh, I just played uh, Metal Metal Storm the other day. That was great. How about that? Bucky O'Hare. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. What else do I like? DuckTales. Thank you. What else am I missing? So that's four. We need four more. Um, yeah, is regular Contra not on there? Contra. TMNT. Uh, see, I really like TMNT. I wouldn't mind, but I get it. A lot of people don't like it. And it's really hard. So I'm going to go no on that, even though I love that game. A lot of people don't like that game. Um... Wait, no punch out? No, I wouldn't put punch out because of the lag issue. You, you need to play that on a CRT. Even though I know the lag has gotten better on the on more recent ones. Uh, Metro Lolo? Sure, Lolo is great. Lolo would have been, yeah, absolutely, Lolo. <laughs> yeah, no, not Back to the Future. What do we need? Uh, two or three more? Three more. What are we, what are we, I'm trying to think. What other fucking NES games are like amazing? Um, uh, Kickle Cubicle just came into my head. I like that game a lot. Um, I don't know if I'd put it on there, though. Uh, regular Mega Man? No. I like regular Mega Man, but a lot of people don't. It's, it is sluggish and whatever, so no. How about Mega Man 3, though? Mega Man 3? Mar no, not Marble Madness. Um, <laughs> Bible games. Due to the difficulty, I don't think so. Game, uh, retro games, in my opinion. Tetris, Tetris, absolutely. Tetris, two more. Let's get two more. Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle. Um, 
Um, I love that game. I don't know if it's classic enough to be on the NES Classics. I'll say no to that, in my opinion. This is all just my opinion, obviously. Paper point, no. Star Tropics is on there, Nero. Um, Chippendale? Eh, I'm, I'm gonna say no. I like. I think DuckTales is better. Mm. Anybody got any more? Metal Storm? Yeah, I said that one already. <laughs> Goonies 2. No. Crystalis? See, I need to stream Crystalis too, uh, so I need to stream Crystalis still, so I can't really answer on that. Maybe. Blaster Master? <sighs> I know this is a super controversial thing, but I'm 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 not big on Blaster Master. I like it, but I don't like love it. So I would personally say no to that. Uh, it's a good game, but I don't think it's like up to that tier to be on that. Um, in, just in my opinion, um, Balloon Fight fits. Balloon fights. I mean, I like Balloon Fight. I guess. I see the other, the thing about balloon fight is I like the like the other mode of it, you know, like where you just whatever like the mode B or whatever, and it's like, but still I don't know that that's good enough to be on the fucking NES Classic, honestly. I only said okay to that because I'm like okay, it's like it's fine, but like Castlevania Three, yes, Castlevania Three is good, uh, a little hard, but I mean I think it's fucking one of the best NES games, so I put that. On there. Life Force, uh. See, Life Force is tough because there's so many be like better versions of like Gradius and like whatever, like on other consoles and shit. But I mean, Life Force is good. It wouldn't be a bad choice. Probably be a better choice than um, uh, what's it called? Um, Balloon Fight. Is Double Dragon on there? The second one's on there, and I agree with that. It's two player and it's. It's probably better, you know? It's better for probably like a friend. Jackal. There you go. Jackal, absolutely. I think we need one more. Jackal and Hyde, no. Um, Jackal, definitely Jackal. Let's get one more. That should have been on there. Not really favorite customer. Uh, I played like the most modern one with Tony. One more, guys. Let's get one more. That should have been on there. And I think that'll fill up the eight. I might have done too many. But, um... Bionic Commando? Bionic, Bionic Commando would be a good one. I wouldn't be upset with that. That. I don't know. I Honestly, I don't know much about this, that series. Magwiza, so maybe you might be right. You're probably right. I'm just trying to pick ones that I know more. Oh, there you go. R RC Pro Am. That's the other one. Thank you, uh, Choose Mom. Choosy Moms, Choose Jeff. Um, RC Pro Am. Love RC Pro Am. I'm going with that. It, fucking, the fact that RC Pro Am is not on there, f like, fuck, fuck the list. They, okay, they have Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, and not RC Pro Am. Let's, let's end with that. Come on. That's it. That's what they should have had. All right, I'm gonna get back to this game. We're, play, we're playing Sega CD. This is Robo uh, Robo Lest, and this is a shooter. So, what do you got? What do you guys think about my 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 what I would have chosen my list uh, compared to what they did? Do you guys think that that would have been a lot better? Do you think that my list is crappier? Like, did, was Nintendo's list better? You know, what do you guys think? Uh, Bree Wundlefly says, a lot of better choices. Whole Rit says, certainly. By the way, feel free to disagree. Um, Nero says, your list, okay. Anybody disagree? And does anybody think that my list is shittier than the ones Nintendo did? Anybody? Like, you know? If they can get the royalties, then I can see why the list is the way it is. Oh, if they couldn't, you mean, yeah. Play Ninja Gaiden 2 on Xbox 360 again. You know what the thing, John Moylan? If I do that, what I'm actually going to do is Ninja Gaiden Black, I think. Which there was, I was practicing that. 
And uh, that was like three or four months ago or something. I was doing that and I was gonna stream it. And I just like didn't get around to it, but I really want to do Ninja Gaiden Black one day. No Contra, no buy. Yeah. None of the classic minis have really been a 10 out of 10. No, they haven't. All right, anyway, let's, I'm gonna get back to this. Sorry for the long break, but for this game, like two people in the chat even know. Also, uh, so what do these little capsules do? Because I don't know. Um, for you couple guys that know this game. Are they just like points or something? Fuck. Powers the weapons? Um, like it, it powers them up and makes them better than they would be? Is that what you're saying? I, okay, so I don't like the red one. Although it shoots out all these little like fucking things from the sides. So if you guys, by the way, I want to mention, so I, tr I try, I attempt to stream every day, but I didn't stream yesterday, and that's because I was, um, I was helping Erin out a little bit on her video, because I don't want to, like, ruin what it was, but it was very, um, it was something that you, like, kind of needed a, more than one person to record, so I was helping her out with that, kind of a complicated thing to do. Um, like if, like if I was doing a video on, on the, if I did the same type of video, I would have needed a second person. Um, so that's why I wasn't streaming last night. And, and other days that I don't stream, it's usually if I'm recording James and Mike Monday or, um, like if I'm recording something else. Let's see if I can actually, how many lives do I have to? Maybe I can beat this guy now. Oh, you know what? I hope there's a continue on this if I get to the next stage. Maybe that, maybe that's what they do. I don't know. Ha, I know you're the pilot. I, yeah, I really do like this option, uh, this weapon. This game's real good, like, I like this game. I think this is really good. I don't want to get that blue. Oh, did I do it? Isn't that bad, actually. I'm trying to keep this yellow. Who is Alest? Is, is that the robot that I'm using? I'm assuming that's me. But there's another, I don't really know. Oh wait, is something else happening here? Or did I beat it? Oh, I guess I beat it. That's weird that there was a little like ending part to that. I imagine if Nintendo wasn't trying to save costs on royalties all the time, it would have been on the NES Classic. Throw them into confusion and pave the way for us. I think Alest is me. Yeah, Alest, Alest is the robot. This definitely seems like the best, um, fuck, the best fuck. It's definitely not the best fuck. <laughs> but look at these guys, ball and chain motherfuckers. It's the level five Zelda two boss. I know you guys were waiting for it, so there it is. Oh, C speeds me up. That's what C is. You see in the top middle? That's your speed. What does A do? Nothing really. It's just like a slower shot, I think. Arm level one. Okay, let's try to get that up to level two then. Let's try to get more of these. Um, those. Did I even get it? I don't think I did. Fuck! I didn't want that! 
damn it. Well. Oh, I just got a bunch of them. I'm not even sure if arm level one is, like, how do you get it to level two? Maybe that's not what that is. I was assuming it would say, like, level two if, if I powered up enough, but maybe that doesn't work that way. Not sure. Not sure. It will, it will bring the level up, like, eventually, like, if I get enough of them. I wish there was almost, like, a counter that's what it is. Fuck. See, I don't like this weapon. I want that, I want the yellow back. I want to never lose the yellow. Fuck, am I dead? Oh, one more. collected those. That was bullets? Oh shit, that was three little bullets together. I thought that was the fucking capsules. So do I get to start from here? Let's see. Oh, are you fucking kidding? Even if you make it to the next level, there's no... There's no continue. Is there a code for this? Anybody know if there's a code, like a level select or anything? That's fucking crazy. You collect bullets until you die. I like that. There are continues? How do you get the... Well, explain the continues then. How do you get the continues? Because it didn't say... Continue. Oh! Oh! There it is. You just hit start. Never mind. Okay, I'm wrong. There are continues. Usually it just like shows up. You have to hit start to get to it. Okay, good. So I'm uh, on level two now. So by the way, I've never drinking, um, ener drinking energy drinks. Um, man, I got fucking bad grammar sometimes. Uh, but this is terrible, but in the last like month, I've started drinking energy drinks and it's not good. I gotta stop. But, uh, oh my god, I want to tell you guys something else. So, you guys know, you guys are mostly my regulars in here, right? Um, I, uh, you know how I've been having trouble with audio? So, I talked to a couple people. Um, there was a re very nice guy on Twitter. And there was, and thank you to him. I don't know if he wants me to say his name. But, uh, and then also I talked to Aaron from Game Grumps. And then uh, also um, our guy who does our emotes helped me out. So here's what happened. So I had a, uh, I had a compressor. And basically, long story short, the compressor I was trying to get to work, it was a piece of shit. And that's why I was never able to get it working. So I think now, I think the screaming might actually be under control. How's my audio right now, by the way, guys? Um, like, sounds decent, right? Hopefully. So, okay, audio's good. See, I've been working on this, by the way, since 2015, and the whole problem is I had a device that was a piece of shit. Um... So, it, and it was a compressor, and it wasn't working. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scream, because you guys know I, this is gonna be, I'm just gonna scream, ju I'm not even playing the game. I'm gonna yell, and I wanna know what you guys think. Uh, it might clip a little bit, like we haven't got it perfected, but I think it, we might be finally on the right track of getting this finally down. So, okay, and, oh, the, the, the other thing is, if this works, you shouldn't have to adjust your audio or anything. So, and this also, this question is mainly for you guys who are in my streams a lot and, and have heard me. If, you got, if you're somebody who doesn't come to my streams a lot, this question isn't for you. So I'm gonna scream, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freak out, 
and then you can tell me if it's any better than it was, okay? Count down before you do? Okay, sure. Uh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here you go. Any better? Did it not peak? Maybe a little bit? Okay, most people are saying it's a lot better. Thank God, because I've been working on that for three years. And if you say, how the fuck could it have taken you three years to do that? It's because I had a broken device. So it kind of wasn't my fault. Um, and I and the other thing about it is I had spent, I think, two or three hundred dollars on that fucking thing. And like I didn't want to buy another compressor because it was already expensive. Um, but finally, finally, I'm like, let me try another compressor. Because you know the, you know what's funny is, so, um, so I was talking to Aaron from Game Grumps, and I'm like, what kind of like microphone do you use? And it turns out all this time, I use the same microphone that, that Game Grumps uses. Um, so I was like, it can't be the microphone. So I was like, what kind of compressor do you use? And he told me the kind of compressor, and I was like, okay, well, if it works for them, it should work, because they yell and stuff. So I was like, if it works for them, it should work for me. So I got the same kind of compressor, and lo and behold, the old compressor was a piece of shit. Then, I, then like I said, I had a couple of peop other people help me set it up. Um, I knew, I because I deal dealt with the other compressor, I knew uh, half of what to do myself, but I still needed help because I'm not like an expert at audio or anything. Thank you, Jay Volt, and I for an eye for subbing with Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. You could have used a software compressor even. So I can't, I couldn't. We tried, we tried that. That was the last thing I tried. And I can't use the software compressor basically because, um, uh, I because I tried lav mic and that didn't work because there was a lot of rustling. And then the other thing about using that one was because I don't wear headphones. Um, and there was a couple other reasons, so I couldn't I couldn't do the digital compressor thing. It wasn't working out. But we did try things like voice meter, banana, and different things, and it just wasn't doing what I needed. So I had I had to end up using a um, a physical one. Okay, so um, let's get back to this. So I like this game so far. Let's see if I can get through this level. But now that, but now when I'm, but now when I am listening, I hear that you could tune in the compressor a bit because it sounds like too rectangular the sound waves. Yeah, there's a little more adjusting I need to do, absolutely, and hopefully over time I'll fine tune it a little bit more. But it's like I think it's better than it was. So physical hardware for the rent win. Yeah, it's like um, physical um, props or whatever. So physical, not props. What's the word? Physical special effects, practical, practical special effects. Thank you, Brutal but Clean. Appreciate all the effort you put into your streams. Thank you. I try. All right, here you go. Dead. Great. Uh, see the problem? I need that fucking. I need that yellow fucking thing. Fucking die. Huh? Wow, bad start. I'm just gonna kill kill myself here because I need to start off better than this. Also, if you missed uh, my previous stream, I did. Um, what was it? I did Castlevania, getting the treasures, and I went through the whole game. I don't know if you guys saw that stream, but uh, I'm gonna upload that soon to my channel there and uh, to my third channel. I have three YouTube channels. Um, it's just, it's ridiculous, but. Um, that that Mike Matei channel is specifically just for the Twitch uploads, because I figured on Cinemassacre plays, like I kind of wanted more edited content. So we've been doing 
shorter edited down clips from the streams, and then we do um, the Mike and Tony videos, which are fuck, which are fuck, which are edited. And so yeah, so that's what we've, we've been doing with plays. That was a decision I made because I was like, let's have the just, let's have a play, let's have a dedicated place. This fucking level is ridiculous. Let's have a dedicated place just for the long streams, basically. I, this is like wow. This game is not easy. You want to see Mike smash a TV? Well, if it was like Elvis, he would shoot the TV out. I think he did that in a hotel room. I saw that TV. They have it at Graceland in the museum. That's across the street from Graceland. Or no, I'm sorry. It might be in the back of the house. Uh, I forget. It's one or the other. There's a museum in the back of the house, too. Am I sad I didn't go to WrestleMania? Oh, oh, I'm so sad about it. I'm not I'm not into wrestling. Again, nothing against that. I just never got in, into it. Why did talk about games switch from Cinemassacre channel to Cinemassacre plays? Um, so basically, it didn't completely. So our idea was to try to do, fuck. Our idea was to try to do one a month on the main channel and then do like other ones on plays. And we've been, fuck, this is like ridiculous without the item. Um, uh, but um, I can't even stay alive for two seconds on this. I might not be able to do this. Um, but uh, we haven't had a lot of time to record it lately. We were gonna record the other day and then um, I don't, I'll try this a few more times and then I might just switch to another game. So um, we were going to record a bunch of Talk About Games episodes the other day, but what ended up happening is Ryan helped me build the Twitch Switch. So speaking of the Twitch Switch, let's see how Hulk Hogan's doing, shall we? Ha 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 ha. Let's see again. <laughs> I want to see that one again. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, that's not the right one. Hang on. Which one was it? There it is. Oh. This part, this part. Wait, wait. This. <laughs> Oh my god. Look closely. Look closely. He didn't hit him at all. Wait, really? Hang on, one more time. Let's look close. Uh, <laughs> wait, right? Oh, Hulk doesn't hit him. Yeah, well. Nobody, nobody's hitting anybody. It's like when we did Bugs Money. Spoiler alert, you know. Um, anyhow, God damn it! All right, let's try, let's try this again. Hey, hey thanks, Ryan Silver. Mike, how does the Twitch Switch work? I'll show you how the Twitch Switch works. Uh, and this is for Ryan Silver. Thank you for the bits there. Basically, it works like that. I just pull a switch and it goes. No more do I feel the twilight caress my hair. Right. You pull it, son. Badeet, badeet, badeet. I, like, this second level, I feel like you have to get to the second level with the... Um, thing from the first level. 
me try this again. This has to be possible. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be, but... Oh, there it was. So I have to get that right in the beginning. Okay, so you know what? Tell you what, I'm gonna die on purpose. I'm, I'm gonna try to get that blue one right in the beginning, and then maybe. Let me. Try, let me I, I, I died there on purpose. Let me continue. I'm gonna try to get this immediately. This is stupid hard. It's pretty. Uh, popful mail. I do have popful mail. Actually. And I have. Uh, I don't have a big Sega CD collection. Um. I have Spider-Man. What else do I have? I have uh, Mickey Mouse, obviously. Slip Heed or something. Uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. I can't see them all from here. Um, I, but I don't, I don't have a lot. Cool. There's Oh, it came up on the other side. Wait, did I not just get that there? What the fuck? Okay, so it doesn't always come up in the same place, for one thing. Wow, how weak is that? There. If I can get lucky enough to get that fucking thing to come in the beginning, and now I have zero lives again. I mean, I'll try since I have the right item. If, yeah, if I could get the yellow thing right in the beginning, I might be able to actually do this. That's the fucking thing. Like, good luck playing this game without that. Like, I wish you just had that automatically the whole game. You know how you can have it the whole game? Don't die. But, yeah, good luck. Like, look how much better this fucking thing is than everything else. I've never gotten this thing to level two. It's ridiculous. I think this is as far as I've made it on this level. And I don't know if getting more than one of those helps much. There, oh, it's on level one now. All right. Good. All right, I'm still alive. I guess, I guess this can be done. Don't get that, don't get that. Wait, did I get an extra life? When did I get an extra life? That's that's a big deal. Fuck this shit, I'll, I'll fucking do this. Fuckers, I don't wanna hit that thing. Did it go to level two? Fuck, am I on the boss? This is a real good game, just tough. All right, I'm gonna stay the fuck away from this. I must stay the fuck away. Oh god, look at this shit. Oh fuck me. Fuck me. How did this small gadget penetrate? Wait, what did he say? <laughs> mm, gadget. Go on, go on, gadget, robo on list. There we go. <laughs> Wait, that was, what, what happened? That was it? I didn't even fight the fucking thing. Yeah, that thing kills the boss instantly. Oh, okay, because I was like, I didn't even fight the... Oh, look at this background. Turns... I like... Sega CD has good fucking music. How do you use a Nero? 
Is there something I'm not doing? <laughs> For a second I thought you said bargain audio. Yeesh me load. Yeesh me load. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. Yeesh me load. That's quite the load you've got there. <coughs> he said load. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Thank you, Enhance. Let's sing that. I don't even know what hit you. I don't know either. No. I need something to cheer me up. Let's see. What can cheer me up? This always cheers me up. Oh wait, that's not right. That that doesn't cheer me up. Oh, is my Twitch switch fucked up? Well, let's see what else might cheer me up. That doesn't... Well, that'll cheer me up. No, that won't cheer me up. I think my Twitch switch is wonky. There we go. This'll cheer me up. Likely geek the be geek the beauty. <laughs> They're apes, not monkeys. Dab on them hater. I'm not doing a dab. I'm not doing a dab. Nope. Now I know what a dab is. This is cheering me up. I'm gonna play this whole song. What other clips should I get, guys, by the way? Got any ideas? Mike doesn't seem to like that. Yeah, no, I don't like dabbing at all. I actually hate dabbing. <laughs> no offense to you dab lovers. <laughs> Donkey Kong. I'm gonna go back to the game. <laughs> Alright. I gotta turn the audio back up. Yeah, so this game is cool. I'm glad I'm glad I picked this one to do. And like I said, I did play Soul Feast. Soul Feces, ha ha ha. Didn't he make that joke in one of the fucking videos? Um
Any, by the way, any feces shit joke? Oh man, was not was not written by me. James has a thing about shit for some reason. What are you gonna do? I think I think uh, the show is a good place for the toilet humor, though. It fits. I'm not usually a big fan of toilet humor. Um, actually, not really at all. But I think it works on ABGN for some reason. Maybe you know why I think it does because like playing video games at this time, you know, in the 90s, 80s, 90s. Back then, when you're a kid, you'll make that kind, those kind of dumb toilet humor jokes, and um, it just seems to fit for that. But usually, like, I, I'm not big on that. <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> that was funny. Choo choo. You know what I really hate when you watch one of those animated like DreamWorks trailers and it's like the farting and the pooping. Like I hate that shit. Whoa! I thought the system was fucking up for a second. It was weird. Right, we have the level one thing. You fuck. Well, at least I can get that back. Damn it. Alright, so don't be in the front of that. It's less than what we learned. That. Oh, that's the noise. When you, that's, it's such a bad noise to have because it's that's like I've had my computer like stall on me and shit before and that's what it sounds like. like that's a scary sound for me to hear very scary sound considering I just got a new computer actually get the other fucking thing. Fuck me. Oh, man. And it, res and it resets your level. Oh. There it is. No! Give it to me. Give it to me. All right. Is the fucking train done? Tell me I don't have to fight a boss now. That'd be great. Didn't get to level one. So that kills the projectiles, huh? Come on. Ah. Didn't even get to level one. Oh wait, there might be more. Oh my god, how many? It takes so many to get an extra fucking level. Fuck me. Like, how many, does it take like a fucking hundred to get like more? Look at this! Anybody know how many it fucking takes? Wait, it says you're on maximum shot right now? Well, what is... Wait, so what does arm level zero mean then? I thought zero is what took you up to the next level.
the orbs level up the arms, not... The, oh, meaning the, sh the firing that's in front of me? The capsules only upgrade your main gun. Oh. See, okay, so what I thought is when... But it says level zero. What does level zero mean? So if the capsules level up the gunshot, okay, that I understand, but what is level zero? Because if, if somebody told me I'm fully charged, so if it's if I'm at level zero, then I'm then it's not then it's zero. Get another yellow orb to upgrade. That's your option level. So if I so if I get two of the yellow things, then that's when that goes up. Okay, I thought okay. I didn't realize that. Okay. All right. I was confused what people were saying earlier then. I can't even tell the color of that. Is that red? Okay. Oh, fuck. Did I get the other thing? <sighs> so I can like fly on his body then. This is weird. Thank you, DXX, for the sub. Weird how you can like. No, I don't want that. It's. I was gonna say it's weird how you can like the body can hit you. I guess it's only the bullets that. All right, there's one. What? Oh my god, do I have to go through this whole train again? Fuck me. Ah, oh, I probably almost had that guy. I hope Palpatine kills Rey in Episode 9, Ultimate Redemption Arc. Okay. So, let's talk about that very briefly. So... Somebody on my Twitter said this, and this is basically how I feel about it. They squandered all their new villains, so they had to bring back an old one, meaning Palpatine. But when a villain has played out his or her arc, meaning in Return of the Jedi, um, one second, I don't want this to fuck up. Meaning in Return of the Jedi, when he dies, Palpatine, they decide to trot them back out again anyway. It usually feels like laziness or cheap or a cheap attempt at fan service by the writers and producers. So somebody said that and I thought that was a good way to say it because that sums up how I feel about it. Like, make a new character. First, don't, like, just stop making Star Wars movies. It's over, uh... Like, it's franchise fatigue. Just stop. And that's it. That's all I'm going to say about it. Just stop making it. We do have a Palpatine emote in here right now, by the way. And not the good kind of fan service. Palpatine clones himself. What, I, whatever he does. I, who cares? That's it. I'm, I just, who cares? It's stupid. It's just stupid. 
It's it's called Disney Wants Money, and that's all. It's stupid. JJ needs to get out of sci-fi in general. Yeah. You know, you know, what pissed me off about JJ Abrams before he made the Star Trek movie. He he did interviews talking about how he wasn't into Star Trek, like how. No, you know what he said? That's not what he said. He said that he was more of a fan of Star Wars than he is of Star Trek. Now, that's fi that's fine. Uh, let me just kill myself. That's fine if you like Star Wars more than Star Trek. But if you're going to be the director of a new Star Trek movie, are you crazy saying that? You, like, just keep that to yourself, you know? Or actually, better yet, have somebody that likes Star Wars, have somebody that likes Star Trek better than they like Star Wars make the fucking Star Trek movie, because it's like, you, you're like, oh, I like Star Wars better, but I'm gonna direct the Star Trek movie. It's like, what? Is like, you, you can't say that. You would have fired him as a director. Paramount should have been like, you can't say that you like Star Wars better. You're the director of the fucking movie. What kind of statement is that? That's the worst thing you could have said. No George equals no canon. That, that's tr true too. And I, you know, you guys know I hate the prequels, but the prequels are better than these new fucking movies. Cause at least, even, even I've said this before, but even though those movies are bad, at least they are original. You know, they're they're original in not a good way, but at least they're original. It's probably the only positive thing I can say about those movies. And I thought Ewan McGregor was pretty decent. Give me that. Fuck. That's about it. I but I don't like those movies. But they're better. They're better than the new shit. A, a, a fucking. If you're anywhere near that, just kill me. I'm just gonna start over. prequel memes are good too. Yeah, like Jar Jar and all that. Yeah, that, that's true. I mean, it's, it's like, fun to make fun of Jar Jar, but, like, I can't even, like, who, who like, Poe Dameron or something? It's like, you know, it's like, it's not even, you can't even make a joke out of it. It's just bad. It's, like, not even, like, Star Wars prequels are, are like, so bad it's, nah, they're not so bad as good. But at least you can make jokes out of it. Those are, those are still so bad it's bad, but not in a bad enough, not as bad as the new ones. I don't even know. Geek and Beauty says, "Am I the only drunk one?" He wants to know if anybody here is drunk. <laughs> is there any warning before that shit comes down? There. I'm gonna stay near the tracks. Maybe, maybe that's how I just stay on the track. And don't be near the mountains. See, they do that as a trick because those guys come out on the other side a lot of times. All right, are we done with the fucking avalanche coming down? Nope. Ah, oh, goddammit. No, sir, I don't like it. I royally fuck that up again. Extra life, maybe? I hate that. I hate that fucking sound. Don't make that sound. I need that fucking yellow thing. Wow. There. Fucking thank God. All right, three lives. 
That's the worst sound. Other than maybe gum, gummy bears on Sega Genesis. Although that's the music, not sound effects. So. Can't decide what's worse. The, the soundtrack for gummy beer, bears or the soundtrack for um, Crazy Bus. I'm going to say Crazy Bus is worse. Just kidding, that's the greatest soundtrack of all time. I forget where I found that game. Is that a... I think it was at a game store or something. Or a convention. I showed that to James and he was like, oh god. <laughs> it's like, hey James, listen to the soundtrack on this. I like that video a lot, by the way. It's short, but it's good. Okay, arms level one. Better. the other power-ups. And like, oh boy, and like, fuck! And, and hit them, which you don't want. Oh, I got another one? Give me that, give me that. Did I miss it? I think that's fully powered now. It's like four, like that. That's a bad thing. So it's, it shoots at like four shots for the gun in front of you, I think. So now the only thing I, I want, hopefully another yellow comes maybe, but all right, two, two lives. Maybe I can see, there it is again. Oh, almost hit that. Get out of here. Well. This game's ridiculous things. When did I start streaming? An hour and 45 minutes ago. What? I didn't even see what I didn't even see that. Fucking die. See how many hits this shit takes? I'm gonna try to beat this or anything right now, but um, 
I'll, I'll check out this next stage. But this is this is a good game. Um, if you're into Sega CD, I'd recommend this. Robot Lust. Let's check out this next stage. I, I'm probably gonna stop on this next stage, but this is a good game. Let's, let's check out this stage though. Unless I'm really far. If this is the last stage, then I'll try to beat it, but I, I highly doubt it. I'm gonna try this stage one la one more time, and then uh, and then we'll stop. Did I see the Lion King trailer? Yeah, I saw it. You broke the controller. That's a good sign to stop right there. So good. Oh my god. Well, I guess I should have. Wow. Oh, that's cool how you break these things apart. They're like, is that ice? Is that supposed to be a block of ice? That's cool. Diamonds or something? I don't know. Forty minutes to go. Forty minutes of this game. Well, forty minutes probably of a playthrough of somebody who's played it before. For me, that's probably like three hours or something. So, if this had a password, then I could come back to it. Does this game have passwords? I don't think I saw a password thing. Or there might be some kind of like level select code or something like that. That's always nice. Yeah, I meant with no death. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Imagine. I don't get killed again. Oh. Well. Let's see if I can keep those power-ups more. I don't know if I've ever gotten to level two with the fucking yellow thing yet. Just sad. I'm able to kill these. I'm getting further on this stage. I really do like this game a lot. But yeah, when I die here, I'm gonna. Well, I got two lives left. Did I? Wow, did I get to the boss? See, now I'm doing good. Now, now I'm gonna like end up not dying or something and making it to the fucking. You know. Did I do it? Okay. Okay, so apparently I did it. The game the game is like, you're not stopping. I did not expect to do that that quickly. Tilty Extremer. Alright, well, let's check this out. Oh, about the pat, like, uh, level selects or anything, is there? Hang on, there is a level select apparently. Wow, that's cool. I could come back to it. Hang on, hang on, let me get, get a thing of that. 
Okay, level select on option screen, set the following options. Sound test to 3A, difficulty level to hard, and the CD-DA number to match the desired starting level. Then press B plus star, star, star. Continue on the main menu to begin the game on the chosen level. I'm not sure I entirely understand that, but okay, that's cool. So I can apparently do that. All right, so I'm gonna get killed in a second here, and then, then we'll then we'll stop. But maybe I'll come back to this game again. I really like it. I might stream something else later. I think I'm probably gonna maybe set my new GameCube up if it works. I haven't had a chance to test it, but it should. And get back to some Super Monkey Ball because I've been wanting to do that. So that's probably what I'm gonna stream a little bit later. This is really cool though. And that Power that Power Rangers game was really stupid. Okay, good game though. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, let's get one more of these with the Twitch Switch. Great. Let's try another. Oh, this one. <laughs> he doesn't like Hulk Hogan at all. You can't shoot the Hulkster. What he's trying to do. Ah! Guys, thanks for watching. See you.